Welcome to our introductory demonstration of VMware vSphere Distributed Switch. In this demo, we will walk through some of the capabilities that vSphere Distributed Switch enables. We begin by navigating to the Hosts and Clusters view to examine the inventory. We have already created a distributed switch for this demo. And we see that all three hosts are attached to DSwitch 1, which is our distributed switch. We also see that the hosts have the same uplinks and port groups. Notice that we also have two virtual machines, Web01 and Web02. Web01 is powered off. We will now power it on for this demo. We then go to the networking section to examine the distributed switch itself. We see our distributed switch, which contains four port groups. Notice that the distributed switch sits underneath the data center. This is because the vSphere distributed switch is a data center object, unlike the standard switch, which is a host object. We will now go ahead and create a new port group to see how a port group created on the distributed switch is automatically available to all hosts that are connected to the distributed switch. We name the port group, set the VLAN type and specify the ID, review the settings, and click Finish. The new port group has been created, and we see it on the distributed switch. Since all three hosts in the inventory are connected to the distributed switch, they all automatically have the new port group configuration. We verify this by going into the Related Objects tab, where we see all three hosts. If we make any changes to this port group, the changes will also reflect on all the hosts. This is one of the many benefits of the distributed switch. For example, on a standard switch, you need to manually create the port group on every host. And if you make any changes to the port group on one host, you need to manually update the settings on the remaining hosts as well. Because the distributed switch is a data center object, any host in the data center can be added to it. Here, we will move the Web01 virtual machine from the VMNet1 network to the VMNet2 network. It is this simple to seamlessly migrate VMs from one network to another. We go into the Manage tab. The topology view gives us a quick overview of all the port groups available on the distributed switch, the number of VM kernel ports, and virtual machines attached to each port group. The distributed switch also provides the ability to monitor the virtual network with industry standard tools that are not available with a standard switch. For example, you can enable NetFlow, create mirrored ports using the port mirroring feature, and enable the health check feature to ensure the physical and virtual network configurations are in sync. The distributed switch also includes the ability to have link aggregation groups using the LACP protocol. On the Properties tab, we can configure settings such as MTU, Discovery Protocol, and Administrator Contact, which are features available only with a vSphere distributed switch. This concludes our introductory demonstration of VMware vSphere distributed switch. Thank you.